fans of high quality entertainment. Uh, before I get into the main subject, I, I just wanted to thank anybody that checked out my previous video on uh, Bon Jovi. It was a comedy video. <laughs> and uh, I've been uh, kind of down the last week or so. And not depressed. There's a you know there's there's a difference between you know feeling down and being depressed. I'm not depressed. It's just you know I don't know what it is, the weather or what, but I just feel blah, and uh, having chronic pain <laughs> on, on top of it doesn't help. So uh, you know there's been days I haven't done videos because I want to be in a good mood when I do them, and I'm in a good mood at the moment. And the same with live chats. Uh, I enjoy doing the live chats, but it's just difficult for me to sit for too long. And so I'm just taking a break from even doing the live chats. But I love, you know, everybody that, uh, all of the guests I have on my live chats, I absolutely love. So please don't be offended that I'm not doing any live chats at the moment. Uh, so yeah, if you haven't checked out the Bon Jovi video, I'd really appreciate you checking it out and leaving a comment. But I was just going to say that I don't do comedy videos like I used to because mo most people that watch this channel, they're, they're more focused on the music-related videos I do because I've kind of changed my format through the years. But this started out as a, just a, a silly, stupid comedy channel. and. So anytime I do post something stupid, <laughs> I'm kind of leery and thinking, oh, it's you know not going to get any feedback or anything. But the Bon Jovi one uh, got a, received a lot of really nice comments, and it meant a lot to me because I do like to make people laugh. <laughs> Enough rambling. I just bought a progressive rock book. I was checking out some of them on Amazon and the reviews and everything, and this one seemed the most interesting. It is called The Strawberry Bricks Guide to Bro Progressive Rock 3rd Edition. If that's not psychedelic, I don't know what is, man. And I've just been kind of thinking recently that, you know, everybody talks about genres and all that, and I kind of, I don't really focus on genres, it's just music I like. But if I had to say, what is my favorite genre of music? I think it would be progressive rock. Uh, I have, uh, before I show you this book, I have, there's so many bands I love. The Pretty Things, of course, King Crimson, Arthur Brown's Kingdom Come, really underrated. If, if you love progressive rock music on the weird, kind of weird, crazy side, definitely check this out sometime. It's his three albums with his band Kingdom Come and lots of bonus materials. Marillion, I've become a huge fan of. This was their their final album with Fish, and it might, along with uh, Misplaced Childhood, these two with Fish, the final two albums with Fish, are amazing. But I do, I also love the later era of Marillion too. Procol Harum, all of their albums. Stephen Wilson, one of many of his albums I own. Of course, I own everything by Yes, and this is one of the ultimate progressive rock albums, along with many others. Rush, of course. Pink Floyd. The Moody Blues, lots of great albums by them. Hawkwind. A band called Genesis you may have heard of. <laughs> John Anderson, of course, his solo material is awesome. Caravan. Chris Squire from Yes. 
so yeah, I all of these albums, you know, when it comes to progressive rock music, I absolutely, you know, I, I also love, you know, your regular classic rock, like Bad Company, The Cars, uh, you know, just your typical classic rock band, but I find progressive rock music more interesting to listen to overall. So this, darn it, there's no pictures. What a ripoff. <laughs> it's just all reading material. There's nothing, nothing for me to scan, but it's a really big book. Let's see. So it goes year by year, which is very interesting. I've all, not often, but I've occasionally thought, what is the first progressive rock album? And yeah, it starts, it looks like it starts with uh, an album called Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. I really do think that is a progressive rock album overall. And then after that, Pink Floyd, The Piper at the Gates of Dawn, and Pokal Harem's first uh, album. The Moody Blues, of course. Traffic. I don't have any Traffic albums. But anyway, it goes through all of these albums and then it goes into 1968, Tomorrow, with uh, Steve Howe was the guitarist in Tomorrow before he joined Yes. The Incredible String Band, I've never heard. Zoot Money, I've never heard. The Zombies, of course, I have and love. Small Faces. There's a kid outside my window and he's really annoying. <laughs> Arthur Brown, the crazy world of Arthur Brown. I'm waiting to get that CD in the mail. Yeah, but it looks very interesting. Family, I've never heard the album. So, you know, it's going to be cool to read uh, about albums I've never heard yet. The Gods, The Nice, with Keith Emerson. The Pretty Things, SF Sorrow, The Soft Machine, Caravan, Family. It just, uh, it goes through the years. And I'm wondering... Yep, yeah, Deep Purple, Coliseum, Sid Barrett, Atomic Rooster. Gong, Rare Bird, so I would say about half of these albums I'm very familiar with and the other half, maybe less than half, I'm not familiar with. Pentacol, Van Der Graaff Generator, Egg. <laughs> There's just so much music. Man. I love Man. Tangerine Dream. So yeah, I'm very... Oh, there's a band called Stud. April 1971. Hmm. When Rory Gallagher left Taste for a solo career in 1970, bassist Charlie McCracken, McCracken related to Phil McCracken, and drummer John Wilson were without a band. Reuniting guitarist Jim Cragen, Stud released their self-titled album in 1971 on the D Durham label. Hmm. Pink Fairies. Yep, and they mention uh, Arthur Brown's Kingdom Come, their albums, and Hawkwind, Gong, Focus, Emerson, Lincoln, Palmer, Rare Bird, Can, Curved Air, Embryo, Jethro Tull, Guru Guru, I've never heard. Craftwork. Now, I wouldn't really consider them progressive rock, but I'm not going to argue. <laughs> Jade Warrior, I've heard of, but I've never heard their music. PFM, I've heard of. Super Tramp, Super Cramp. Synergy, 
group 1850 wigwam yeah a lot of a lot of bands I've I have not heard of Far East Family Band Star Castle I've heard of Gong of course Camel I've heard the Alan Parsons Project Megma yeah so yeah I'm really gonna enjoy this even though there's no pictures so if you're a fan of uh, classic rock music and you want to delve into some bands you've never heard of and then just you know read about bands that are, are in your collection and see what they say about them oh Led Zeppelin's in this <laughs> uh, Led Zeppelin 4 Baker's Opera Wallenstein Wild Turkey Centipede <laughs> A, R, and Machines. New Trolls, 1971. Frumpy. Of course, Gentle Giant. Peter Hamill, The Move. The Trip. Clouds. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of these I have not heard. But I'm going to read up on them. And if they sound interesting enough, we'll check them out on uh, Spotify. Egg. I've heard of the band Egg. I've just never heard their music. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to, to reading this. Uh, so thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.